Hey, what's going on guys? Kevin Fox here, and I'm going to help you fix your Streamlabs OBS uh, and to fix it so that you don't have a black screen anymore. Uh, this will also tweak a lot of other settings. So if you're having issues in other departments trying to get your video game to work, whether it's Fortnite or Apex or whatever you're streaming, uh, to get that fixed as well. So what you wanna do is Come to your Streamlabs, start off, start with a new Streamlabs. I don't know if you've changed any settings or anything, so please download a brand new one. Uninstall the old one, download a brand new one, or if you haven't changed any settings, make sure yours is updated, um, and then download Streamlabs here. Once you download the program, you can run it a couple times, or if you played around with it, that's fine. But what I want you to do is right click on it, come down to Properties, I want you to here. This is your shortcut here. It's showing a shortcut right here. Click on advanced and run as an administrator. Make sure that's clicked and click OK. Uh, what that does is makes your um, shortcut here. Anytime you double click on it, you're going to run it as an administrator. Um, you can also go and check some of the other stuff, compatibility or incompatibility troubleshooter. You can do that if you want. Um, a lot of times this isn't the issue. Um, like you can run this program compatibility for Windows 7, Vista. No one's running that anymore. Most of the people are running Windows 10, especially now because it's a free update. So um, what you wanna do is make sure down here it says run this program as an administrator. You wanna make sure that that's uh, ticked off and then just click apply. Okay, so once you're out of that, you can go to um, check your NVIDIA settings. So for me, um, mine's updated. If yours isn't updated, make sure it's updated. To do this, to start off, let me just open up Google here. NVIDIA and just go to like driver update. If you open this in Windows Explorer, um, it will have, like you'll see here, automatically find drivers for my NVIDIA products, only supported when using Windows Explorer. So if you're using IE, you can click on this, download it, it'll scan your computer and update the drivers automatically for you. So I highly recommend that, or even just using Internet Explorer just for this, and then go back to Chrome or Firefox, whatever you're using. Um, or if you know the type of graphics card that you have, uh, plug in your information here and search. Once your drivers are up to date, you will have some options. So if I right click on my screen, see this NVIDIA control panel, you need to have this. So click on that. It'll take a minute for it to load. My computer's a little bit slower. Okay, so once this pops up, you're gonna see manage 3D settings. You're gonna see adjust time settings, set physical apps, GPU performance, yada, yada. Anyways, the one you want is manage 3D settings. Okay, so once you're here, you're gonna see global and program settings. You want program settings. Click on program. Now my OBS will already be added here, but yours probably won't be. So you're gonna need to add it. Now, let's say I click on add, scroll down here, and you want obs64.exe. You have to have this one. Don't use Streamlabs, use obs64, okay? A lot of people um, don't click that one and they click something wrong. Once you have that, click add selected program. Um, if you can't find it in your list, go to your browse, program files, find where you've installed that program and add it, okay? So once you have that, it'll show up in your list here. Now make sure this is very, very important. Do you see the one I'm highlighting here? See program files, Streamlabs OBS, Streamlabs OBS.exe. Do not do that one. That's a big issue for people. The one you want is down here, open broadcaster software. OBS 64, because what happens is Streamlabs uses OBS to work. It's built into the Streamlabs software. So once you have that one, you'll click on that one. 
and you'll come down here where it says select the preferred graphics processor. You want to make sure this is integrated graphics. Do not use your high performance. Your high performance is what you're going to use for gaming and such like that. That's going to be your GPU, your graphics card. Uh, for my laptop, what's this thing? A GTX 1050. Uh, that's what I use for gaming. Um, but for your Streamlabs, your OBS, you want integrated graphics, okay? So make sure you click that. Once you click that, you'll have a button down here that says apply or save or whatever. Or or maybe, it, I, I can't remember, it's been so long since I've changed it. But here, right here, apply. I don't know if you can see that because of my webcam, but right here it says apply. So you would click that one, okay? Once that is done, your OBS is set up on your computer. You're running as an administrator, and two, you have it set to integrated graphics. Um, have your video game set to um, your high performance, but OBS run it as integrated graphics. Okay, so once that's done, actually I can just close that. Open up your OBS, okay? So once this opens up, I know you're gonna see all this background stuff. You can pick your themes, yada yada, download, install. Once you have these options here, you're gonna see starting soon, live scene, intermission, be right back, whatever you have in there. You wanna to go to your live scene. Now from live scene, you're gonna come over here. I've named mine main screen. You can name it whatever you want. Um, what this one is, is if I click on add, it's gonna be a display capture, okay? You'd click on display capture and go add source. From here, like uh, where it says display cat, you name it whatever you want. So, Kev's helpful tips, whatever, you know what I mean? You would click on add new source and you can already see my main screen here. Once you click on add new source, it's gonna bring this up. I don't wanna add this cause I've already got one. That's my main display. So I don't need that one. Uh, so I can delete that. Okay, um, if you want, you can also bring up a window capture. Let's say I have like Google up or something of that nature or something in a window of video game. You can click on window capture. When I click on window capture and add source right here, you go to add new source. Um, you can pick the screen what you want. You can like Xbox Overlay, Microsoft Edge, Explorer, Streamlabs, whatever you want, okay? The other thing you can do, I'm gonna delete that one, is you can add game capture, okay? Add source. So this one's game capture. Let's say I'm playing Apex. I will put in Apex, okay? Add new source. Okay, so this one here, scale resolution, da, da, da. Oh, whatever. I can leave that one there. So, okay, so once I've got this, I can do a specific window. I can do capture foreground window with hotkey or capture any full screen application. Okay, let's say I want to capture a specific window. If I click on that, I'm going to have the window options and I can scroll down. So let's say I want to open Apex. Let's go back. I have this ran as an administrator. Any of your stuff, run them as administrators, okay, guys? Like, I mean, not every program, but the ones you're mainly using. It'll definitely help your computer run them. Um, I will also eventually do a tutorial on how to speed up your computer to run Apex better and get you an extra 50 to 100 frames per second, but that'll be in the future. Okay, so Apex is booting up. While that's booting, I'm going to push my window key to get out of there because we're not playing the game right now. But you can see it down here. I'll bring up my Streamlabs. Okay, so here's my Streamlabs. Here's my Apex right here. Okay, if I you can do open source properties. If I click on that, I'm gonna show you guys a little trick. Now you don't see the game popping up. Okay, um, I can select options, select the window. Here's Apex Legends. I can click that. Now even though I've clicked it, you guys aren't seeing the game, correct? Like you know what I mean? It's not working. People are like, why isn't that working? 
Well, here's a trick, okay? You see under window match priority, it says SLI slash crossfire capture mode and force scaling. I want you to click that and then click this one and then click this one and click this one. There, it pops up. Now it, it, it's working. I don't know why that works, but you keep clicking back and forth and that will work. Then you can drag your screen around and I can stretch it out for the size of the screen, just like that, okay? Now, what I want you guys to do, like if I go back, like right now you're just seeing my uh, Apex screen. If I click back to main screen, I'm gonna show you something here, okay? So what I did is I slid Apex down below my main screen. So this one is actually underneath my main screen. So make sure whatever you have at the top, um, is at the top is what's going to show on your computer. So if I take Apex and I move it above my main screen like this, there it is. But your main screen is actually underneath. You see that? If I go like that, you see it's underneath here? Okay. Stupid warnings. Um, so you want to make sure that you don't have a black screen or a picture here covering your live video. Um, Another thing what you want to do is your webcam. If I take my webcam and I put it down here, I disappear because I go in behind the screen, okay? So you want to have your stuff basically on top in order. This is the way it's layered. So your main screen, um, you want to have that at the bottom. If you have your webcam and things like that, you want them on top. But your apex, this, um, if, if your primary reason is to stream, then you want that at the top, okay? Or at least underneath your webcam, but above your main screen. And then once you have this, you can drag it. You want your apex below your webcam if you're running a webcam, a webcam and below labels, so I'd put it to here. And then I would drag this across like that to my full screen, okay? So then I could switch over to my apex and I could play. It's that easy, guys, going into the game. So, before that loads too far, hit this window key just to get back out. And Apex, I can get rid of that guy. Do you want to remove Apex? Sure. Okay, so that's it, guys. This is how you fix it. Um, if, if you're just trying to get rid of your black screen, quit now, go do that. If you want to see some other helpful tips, then I'll carry on with some settings, okay? So, that's it. so what I'm going to show you guys now is in settings, okay? This is to help you run Streamlabs itself running better. So here's some of my settings, okay? If you scroll down, source alignment snapping, enable snap sensitivity 10, uh, snap sources to edge of screen and snap sources to other sources. That's my general. The meat and potatoes, okay? Stream, streaming services, Twitch, yada, yada, you don't need that. Output, okay? Output, so you want output mode as advanced under streaming, audio track one, encoder, N-V-E-N-C, and you want to enforce streaming service encoder settings, okay? Um, bit rate, 3,500. If you're finding that you're getting a lot of um, stuttering or dropping frames and stuff, lower this down a little bit, okay? That's too much, uh, too many frame rate rates for your computer. But try 3,500. If that's not very good, drop it down to 2,500. Uh, keyframe interval, two. Uh, high quality, profile, main, level, auto, use two-pass encoding, GPO zero, B-frames two. Um, my recording, it's just standard. Um, right now it goes to my D drive and I'm recording in MP4. That's just so I can upload to YouTube. If you guys want to do that uh, or do any kind of video editing, I highly recommend MP4 as some software uh, has a hard time modifying or changing FLV. So I always do MP4. Audio track one recording is use stream encoder, bit rate 160, okay? Audio, that's default, disabled, default, disabled, and disabled, okay? Video, 
1920 by 1080 for your base resolution. Your output resolution is 1280 by 720. If you get a super fast computer, you can up that. Um, but for me, mine's not super fast, so 1280 by 720 is good. Downscale filter, you want the lands ZOS sharpened scaling 32 salmon samples and common FPS values 60. So that's the hertz of my computer is 60. So I mean, if yours is faster, you can do faster, but try to stick to 60. Uh, that's good. Hotkeys you don't really need. Uh, advanced, okay. So general process priority put normal video NV12 for color format. Uh, scrolling down, audio default, stream delay, duration, 20 seconds. You're going to have a delay from your video to live anyways. Um, retry delay, 10 seconds. Maximum retry is 20. Enable browser source hardware acceleration. That requires a restart. Um, and that's about it. So if you got those same settings, feel free to um, pause the video as you're going and change those. This will speed up your Streamlabs. It'll help your streaming. Um, so this not only will fix your black screen, but you'll be running a lot better. Uh, your streams will look a lot better and it'll definitely help with your viewers. Okay, guys. Um, so stay tuned, subscribe, um, follow me on Twitch. It's cryptic777. Uh, leave comments leave your likes. If this doesn't work for you, let me know. I'll help you personally. Um, I've helped hundreds and hundreds of people get their Streamlabs up and running. And I'm at about, I want to say 90 to 95% success rate. So thank you very much for watching. Hit the bell, subscribe, more videos coming guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.